Welcome back to the Gijer Automation Series. I'm your host, Dr. K. Today, we'll learn how to write a Gijer script to identify calls to known, vulnerable, and banned functions. Then, we'll apply the scripts to a batch of binaries using Ghidra in headless mode. In this video, we'll be using the Vulnerable Functions Jupyter Notebook. If you want to follow along and complete the exercises, you can download the notebook, as always, via our GitHub channel. I've linked the channel below. Let's get to it. In this notebook, we'll write a Ghidra script to identify vulnerabilities that are related to CWE 676. That is, the use of potentially dangerous functions. You can see a description of CWE 676 here. The product invokes a potentially dangerous function that could introduce a vulnerability if it is used incorrectly, but the function could also be used safely. That's why we say potentially vulnerable functions instead of strictly vulnerable. The basic idea here is that we can quickly scan n number of binaries to identify references to functions that are known to be vulnerable. Our work throughout this notebook will be based upon the following repositories of banned and known vulnerable C functions. Before we get to actually extracting the feature, let's remind ourselves of our goals. Namely, our goal is to identify calls to potentially vulnerable functions. We can break this down into three major steps. First, let's have a list of known vulnerable functions. We'll call this known vulnerable. Then we need to get a list of every function in the binary. We can call this all functions. Finally, for any function in all functions, we need to see if that function is in the list of known vulnerable. If it is, we can identify calls to the known vulnerable function. Now that we understand our goals and we have a general outline of our code, let's copy this over into VS Code and start to fill it in. I'll create a new script called vulnerablefunctions.py. I copy over the steps from my Jupyter Notebook and I'll use this to outline my code. First, I wanna create a list of the known vulnerable functions. Then I want to get a list of all the functions in the binary. For every function in that list, I want to see if it's in the list of known vulnerable functions. Finally, if it is in the list of known vulnerable functions, I would identify functions that call the known vulnerable function. Now I'll create a method to get all of the functions in the binary. So I'll need a list, something like all functions equal blank. For any function in the list of all functions, I'll need to do step three. So I'll create another method. This one I'll call vom check. We'll pass in the function name. And we'll see if that functions in the list of known vulnerable functions. If it is in the list of known vulnerable functions, I need to complete the final step. Identify any function that calls it. We'll call this one get callers. Now, I don't quite know how to accomplish each of these steps, but I think I have a pretty good outline. We've created the general outline of our script. Now let's go back in and fill in some to-dos. First, we need to copy the list of known vulnerable functions from our Jupyter Notebook. Then we need a way to get all of the functions in a binary. If you have no idea where to start with this step, please go back and check out the Ghidra API video, specifically section two. We'll need to get the function iterator, and in order to do that, we'll first need to get a function manager. The function iterator will give us an iterator over all of the functions. For each item 
in that iterator, we need to access the correct method. Specifically, the method that will allow us to compare that function to a known vulnerable function. Finally, we need a way to identify any function that calls the known vulnerable function. So this will be our last to do. Use the correct method, function dot something, to provide a list of functions that call the vulnerable function. Let's start to check off some of these to do's. First, I'm going to copy the list of known vulnerable functions from my Jupyter notebook. I can use view word wrap to fit that all on the page. Next, I need to get the function manager and a function iterator. Now, if you have no idea what this is in reference to, please check out some of the other videos that I've shared. I'll just copy the code from there. First, I'll use current program, which again, I get for free, to get the function manager. And then I can use function manager dot get functions no stubs to get an iterator of all of the functions. Now I need to find the correct function related method to pass to our vulnerability check. What am I trying to compare here? The format of the known vulnerable functions is a string, just a string of the function name. So I need to be able to isolate just the function name from the function object. Let's see how I can do this. I need a method that will isolate just the function name. Get name, that sounds good to me. I'll use the get name method after I pass the function to bone check. If the function name is in the list of known vulnerable function, then I need to get the callers, that is, the functions who call this known vulnerable function. For this, I pivot back to the API and see what methods are available to me. I see two of interest, get called functions and get calling functions. The first, get called functions, is going to return a set of functions that this function calls. The second is what we're looking for. This will return a list of functions or a set of functions that call this function. This is looking great, but we need a way to communicate to the user that a vulnerable function was called. So let's add a print message for now. We'll start with a simple conditional, making sure that the set of callers is not none. As long as there are items in the set, then for every caller in the caller set, we want to print a message to the user. We'll pass in the caller and the name of the function. Let's create a new method called print message. And in this method, all we'll do is print a statement to the user. Something simple like, hey, a vulnerable function called blank was called by blank. Our script is nearly finished. Since we don't have a main, we need to use get functions. Before running the script against a batch of binaries, I like to test against a single binary in the GUI. Script manager, new Python script, we'll call it vulnerable functions test. We copy and paste our code, save it and click play. And finally, in the console window, we see vulnerable function gets is called by main. Now that we've verified that we can run the script against a single binary in the GUI, we're ready to introduce the Ghidra headless analyzer. I've separated this tutorial into two parts. Check out part two to see how we can leverage the headless analyzer and take this one home. I'll see you there.